In the flask are two large matches. It's being set on the hot plate, and the hot plate is turned on high. Matches have the red phosphorus at the ends, and when you strike a match, the red phosphorus, the friction, increases and the heat is produced, and that's enough energy to make the red phosphorus react with the oxygen in the air. Well, in this case, there is no friction. The heat being provided by the hot plate is enough energy to make the red phosphorus react. Here's a petri dish with some match heads that have been cut off and again there's enough heat energy provided by the hot plate, the activation energy needed to make the red phosphorus react. Notice that the large match heads need more activation energy to start reacting than the smaller ones. Here it is again in slow motion, four times slower playback rate. And again, you can see when the red phosphorus has enough energy, it'll start reacting. That's activation energy.